It's um sometime. Hi guys! Can you guess the title of my next video? Hurry up! Write your guess in the comment section below. Why do dead whales explode? Cause there are thousands of firecrackers in their bodies. Ah, uh, stop bluffing. When a dead whale accidentally gets washed up on a beach, it begins to decompose as it is not eaten up by sharks or other fishes. During decomposition, various gases like methane and carbon dioxide are produced within its body. But since there is a thick layer of blubber under the skin of whales, the gases cannot escape out. Thus, they begin to build up inside the whale's body, causing it to bloat. Now such gases are also produced in other animals after their death. But since the body of a whale is large, it produces more gases, thus increasing the pressure on its body. Eventually, due to the increased pressure, the accumulated gases, tissues, flesh, etc. forcefully come out through weak spots, thus creating an explosion. Hence, it is always advised to not stand or sit on a dead whale because it might lead to increased pressure at weak spots, thus causing an explosion. Oh. How do dolphins sleep? By covering their face with fins. No. Huh? Like humans, dolphins are mammals. They breathe through lungs. Hence, dolphins need to come up to the surface of water at regular intervals to breathe. Also, dolphins have to protect themselves from dangerous predators. Oh. Hence, they always need to be alert. Just like security guards, right? Oh, just listen. Each eye of a dolphin is directly connected to the oh. opposite hemisphere of the brain. Now, while sleeping, a dolphin shuts down one hemisphere and the opposite eye. In the meantime, the other active hemisphere keeps track of internal bodily functions like breathing, and the open eye looks out for oh. predators. After two to four hours, the dolphin swaps the sleeping task. It awakens the closed eye and resting hemisphere and shuts down the active hemisphere and the open eye. This type of sleep is called unihemispheric slow wave sleep. <laughs> Why is dry ice so dangerous? Maybe because it is made by devils. <laughs> nah, dry ice is basically solid carbon oh. dioxide. The surface temperature of a dry ice block is about negative 78 degrees Celsius oh. or negative 109 degrees Fahrenheit. This means it is much cooler than ordinary <laughs> ice, which is made up of water. If dry ice comes in contact with our skin, our cells begin to freeze and die within seconds, thus giving us severe frostbite. In addition to this, storing dry ice in airtight containers can be dangerous. But why? This is because dry ice sublimates. That is, it directly gets converted from solid state to gaseous state. Hence, in airtight containers, the gas produced can build up and exert pressure on the walls of container, which can lead to a dangerous explosion. Mm. Huh? Why do we stretch oh. in the morning? So that we can sleep for two more hours. <sighs> nah. <laughs> Wait, I'll explain. When we wake up in the morning, we yawn and stretch our arms oh. and legs. This coordinated yawning and stretching is referred to as panticulation. I thought it is referred to as calculation. <laughs> oh, huh? just listen. When we are asleep, <laughs> we don't perform any activities. Hence, our heart rate oh. becomes slow when the blood flow is decreased. Also, as many people lie in the same position for long hours, their muscles become stiff oh. and tight. Hmm. Thus, a good stretch in the morning awakens oh. our body. It brings our heart rate back to normal, improving the blood flow to various body parts. Stretching also loosens and realigns uh -huh. our stiff muscles, making them more flexible oh. and ready for the day ahead. <laughs> Topic, wavelength. Why red is used as a danger signal? Oh well, because my teacher said so. <laughs> as usual, you are wrong. Hmm. The major reason for red to huh? be used as a danger signal <laughs> is its wavelength. Yeah, yeah, I know. Wavelength is the distance between two C waves. No. In the wave theory of light, the distance between successive crests or troughs huh? is called wavelength. Hmm. Longer the wavelength, lesser will be the scattering of light. 
Huh? Now, among the colors of visible light, red has the longest wavelength. Hence, it is least scattered by the atmospheric particles. As a result, whether it is fog or smoke, <laughs> red light passes comparatively easily through them. Hmm. Thus, it can be seen from maximum distance, making red color the right choice to convey any danger. 